Hello. Hi. We back. <laughs> Don't fucking laugh at me. No, you didn't, you didn't start your, like, your normal way. You weren't like, hello everyone, or no. <laughs> normal shtick. <laughs> That's for normies. Oh, my fault. Yeah. Well, we just finished the story mode for Pokemon Black. And I thought it would be fun before we go on, like, a month hiatus of playing the game, to, to rank all the Gen 5 Pokemon based off of how good they are in the game and aesthetic. Yeah, I, I also thought it was funny how you just said a month hiatus, like you're not just playing through Pokemon White right now. White, yeah. Well, I meant for Pokemon Black. <laughs> Pokemon Black is going to be gone for, like, a month, a month and a half. Yeah, yeah. So I'll probably start recording it at the end of August, but... Here we are. Here we are. Yep. So, found this tier list, and it has every Pokemon in Gen 5. I believe it has the... F no, it doesn't have the forms, so it's just the one. And then there's these guys, and then the forms of the these guys. But not the forms of the other ones. <laughs> but it's got this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Zen mode, Dormanitan. Yep. All right, but... So, S is obviously super good. Uh, a is... Is okay. So, as super good, A best, B good, C average, D uh, below average, and F is dog shit. <laughs> yes. yes. And right. and to preface every single tier list, of course, this is all just our opinions. Even if some of them are based in yeah. why percent true. Why is Mega odd in here? <laughs> that's a fantastic question. <laughs> is there any other Megas that are even in here? I don't see any. Do you? What are there any other megas for Gen Five other than Arno? I actually don't think so. Damn. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, I guess we'll start off with. Well, I guess we'll go in order. Pokedex order, which is Victini number zero zero. Yeah. I think I think Victini's cute. I think the movie's really good. Yeah. I it has its own special move, which is uh, V-Create. V-Create's a really strong move. Yeah. Fire Psychic. I think, uh... And it's uh, Vent Locked. <laughs> yeah, I think all around this is an S-tier Pokemon, in my okay. opinion. I think I think this, uh... Little baby. Yeah, the little, it's just got, like, everything going for it. Like, how can you hate on Victini? Yeah, Victini's a, a good mythical Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, I love this little backstory of how like a rich motherfucker just found it and decided to build it like its own little house on an island, <laughs> where it yeah. just stayed there <laughs> in a room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Snivy. What What are your thoughts on Snivy? Grass type starters are all right. I just I love move diversity a lot, and grass types only know grass and normal type moves, so you don't get a lot of diversity unless it's like a dual type where it's grass something else. Yeah, I think I think Snivy's like the underlooked one yeah. of the three, because like Tep Tep Executor and Oshawott's just like best boy. Yeah. So, uh, uh, to me, I mean, don't get me wrong, Snivy's pretty cool, especially like in the anime. Mm. Uh, oh how, yeah. How a level five Snivy beats Ash's Pikachu. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, I I think I think you know, even though it's not like the greatest of the three, I think it still is like Maybe. yeah, I, th I think I think it's like a yeah. reasonable B tier. Yeah. I feel like you get like the Snivy line gets better in the second game because like all these Pokemon get better moves that they can use and better TMs and shit like that. So yeah, I will say what the Snivy line has going for it is in uh, like like ROM hacks. Uh, Superior gets the ability Contrary, and it's a Grass Dragon type. Oh, okay. so. You can use Draco Meteor on it, and Contrary will boost its attack two stages. So Damn. it's like a hundred. 50 base power dragon type move that boosts its attack uh, or special attack by two stages. Damn. So I'll say that that's what's got going for it. But out of so okay, out of the yeah, Servine. Servine. And I, I immediately the clip copped in my head. It was like, you want to handle my Servine? Servine? A Servine? <laughs> servine? Yeah, it's like they say it a it's, billion it's times. Servine. <laughs> servine. <laughs> servine. Oh my God! It's a Servine. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think Servine's the second coolest out of the second evolutions. Yeah. I, I think I think it's like it's it's like Snivy, but less cute and more like cool. Yeah. Like 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 uh, Servine reminds me of like a hip teenager. 
I feel like it's a little bit above Snivy then. In yeah, B. yeah, yeah. I, I, I think so. I don't think it's quite A tier, but I think yeah. it's I think it's pretty good. All right, Superior. It's super fast. It gets Leaf Blade and uh, a Petal Dance. Yeah. It's Coil. Yeah, I think the only like downside that Superior has is just that it's a Grass type. Yeah. Like maybe just A tier. I think I think that's fine. Yeah, a little low A tier, but you don't really get to see that right now because yeah, we and, don't have anything else on the board. And I like it there for the fact that in ROM hex it's it's OP. Yeah. All right, Tepic, our little fire pig. Tepic, Tepic's cute. Yeah. I, I really Best like. Best choice for Nuzlocke. Yeah, I think I think Tepic's probably probably a low A tier in my opinion. Yeah. So a little, a little behind Superior. Yeah. Okay. Pig Knight. Oh, fire, I... uh, fire fighting doesn't get a good fighting move until like level forty six. Yeah, I think. Like I think learning it. Pig Knight is just like we have Monferno at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it's like it tried to like live up to like the Chimchar line, mm-hmm. but it just uh, put that in C tier. He's okay. definitely. He's def- okay, like, I was trying to be generous. <laughs> no, he's definitely out of all of the. Out of all the starter forms in this generation, he is the worst. Like, gotcha. I hate to say it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Embor. Embor's pretty cool. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that's a, a an A tier right there. Yeah, I think I think yeah I think it is behind Superior just because. <sighs> Embor doesn't like while it's cool, and it's I, like it it's definitely strong. gets better in the second game because then you can give it like Thunder Punch and sh- and like diverse yeah, moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it doesn't learn anything. Yeah. And, in the in, like the in these game. games, because yeah. like, like uh, its strongest fire type move is flamethrower, and it's a physical attacker. Yeah. Like, it, and like uh, the only like good fighting type move it learns is like after the elite four, yeah. or if you or if you like teach it brick break. Yeah. Like it has like arm thrust until like level forty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ashwat. Hmm. Ashwa, Ashwa, Ashwa's so good. <laughs> yeah, love, Ashwa's Ashwa. such a. That was my first Pokemon that I repicked was Ashwa. Ashwa's so cute. Yeah. He's he's the first one that I picked, and ever since then, I've like I've played through Generation Five probably like fifteen times, and thirteen of them were with Ashwa. Nice. The only reason why I picked Tech is because I'm doing a Nuzlocke, and I want to guarantee a Fire type because water water types are always a dime a dozen, you know. Whereas Fire types, I think I now have I think I have three. Yeah. yeah. And that was just luck. Well, actually, Lamp- Lit- Litwick is like 100% on the first floor. Yeah. Darmanitan was like luck trying to get that one. Yeah. Duat. Duat. Duat's the coolest second second stage. Oh, probably right here. Yeah. I think I think he's pretty yeah. cool. And he, uh, he learns Razor Shell. And, yeah. And he, he, he's just like... You teach your revenge. Yeah. So you have like a Fury Cutter, uh, Revenge, uh, Razor Shell, and then like Strength, their Tackle, or some kind of normal type move. Yeah. Yeah. Now this boy, you go in an S tier. I, I love. Talk Samurai. about a good like coverage. It it's like it's slow. I think it's pretty slow, but it's got like a good balance of attack and special attack. So you can do whatever you want with this thing. And and come on, he's a samurai otter. Yeah, you can teach him <laughs> so many different moves. You can teach him ice beam. Yeah, and he and he works he works well with both uh, as a physical and a special attacker. Yeah, because they're like almost equal, all depending on which nature you get. Yeah, so you can you can use him like either which way. I think I think he's just all around like. There's like not really a negative to him. Water's a good type. Yeah, like, it's only weak against electric and grass, which are easily avoidable. Yeah. All right. Pat Rat. Pat Rat's cute. I think, Pat. I think. I think. I think Pat Rat's. Uh, I think. Uh, yeah. I think. Uh, well, uh, no. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't right think here? he's. I don't think he's ahead of any starters. Okay. So right there. Opinion. Like I think. I think he's. I think he's pretty cool. Now watch Og talk about a Pokemon that can be the most annoying motherfucker to you, and he deserves to be right there. He deserves right there. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Would you be more happy with having a superior? Or having a watchhog. Have you never experienced the pain of dealing with watchhogs before? They I put you to sleep, they use Confuse Ray, they use Super Fang, and then but they it kill boi- you. It boils down to, let me ask you that, if you if you were like running like a randomizer, and you encountered a superior or a watchhog, which one would you be more happy to see? 
<laughs> an Embor or a Watchog? Okay, I think Good. <laughs> I think that's I think that's more fair. Lillipup. I think I think I think Lillipup's mm, pretty average. I don't know. He's kind of cute though. Yeah, but he's pretty average. I mean, yeah, but you think he's? You, do you think Lillipup's worse than Pat Rat? Yeah, I probably put him there. <laughs> yeah, Herdier. Herdier. This one hits pretty hard. Yeah. Probably right. Probably right here. Yeah, I like I like Herdier more than more than them. Yeah. All right, Scotland, big boy. Oh yeah, this one can like in the second one you can teach him fire, ice, and thunder fang. Yeah. For mood diversity. Yeah. So in the second one, he's he's, he's so super good. useful. Yeah. Scotland, this thing can take hits. Yeah. So I feel like a little bottom A tier. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's a good ch it's it's a good choice for early on. Yeah. To I just get through it before you actually pick out your party members. Yeah, and I mean he can he can be like decently useful later on, but mm -hmm. like he's I mean he's he's a good choice for early game. Yeah, he's outclassed by a lot a lot more other Pokemon. Yeah. All right, Purloin. Yeah. This thing can not take a hit, and it doesn't do damage until, like, it evolves. Yeah. And so even, you're kind of dragging it through the dirt. Even <laughs> when it's evolved, it learns, like, dark and normal moves. Yeah, so there's... That's it. Yeah, so there's, like, no move diversity. It's only a little better because it evolves. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, like, like, sure, it's fast if you want a Pokemon that's, like, you know... That it can use pursuit mm -hmm. or or fake out or fake or out, yeah, like the, like that's that's sure, you know, that's that could be your go to Pokemon. But there's just so many other better Pokemon, yeah. like especially dark. There's there's plenty that are coming up. Yeah, this is like the worst, probably the worst dark type that's in this game. Yeah, all right, Pantsage. All right, first monkey. The the before evolutions of all the monkeys are pretty cute. Yeah, uh, I think they I think they're probably this ranked one. around the same. Yeah, like little C tier. Very average, but monkey. Yeah, I think, uh, I think they all probably go around the same area. Yeah. So do you want to do all of them? Boom. Yeah. <laughs> all the monkeys. I feel like they're either gonna go up and down here. Now this one definitely high B. Yeah, I, this I, thing I, can I be annoying. Scald but it's super, on that thing. Yes. Oh my gosh, it hits so hard. Yeah. Uh, this one, I feel like. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I think it's better than Leopard, but it's uglier, so. Yeah. I mean, it can hit. I, I currently have this one in my Nuzlocke. Also, the monkeys can learn acrobatics. Yeah. This, uh, I think I think he's a decent one because he learns Seed Bomb really early. Yeah. I think, yeah, I have Seed Bomb, Shadow Claw, acrobatics, and work up. Yeah, I'd probably place it below Snivy, in my opinion. Ooh, right here? Yeah, because yeah. I think I think he's actually pretty strong. He's just ugly. <laughs> he's not that ugly. He's pretty ugly. He's got you a know, mohawk. You know, uh, the most hated Pokemon voted by uh, fans, like like across both Japan and the whole world, is, is the monkeys. Really? Yes. When, yes. When was the vote? Like when was when was that established? I think I think that was like after Gen Five. Okay, but, that makes sense. Okay, but, uh, I if it like took place today, it was. I, I, it would probably be that weird looking fish from Aloha. Probably yeah. that thing's really ugly. <laughs> All right. Uh, oops. Muna. Muna. Sharna. Muna Muna's Muna is a good early psychic. It's very tanky. Yeah. So I feel like. I feel like right here is a nice place for her. Yeah, yeah. And Masharna, I yeah. mean... I can learn a lot of special type moves, like a le like Energy Ball. I think I can learn Thunderbolt as well. Yeah, I never realized that, like... Like, right there. I, I never realized that, like, you know, that's like gas coming out of it. Mm -hmm. I always yeah, thought... Yeah, I always thought that that was, like, a tail, and that it was, this was, like... It was, like, a... I always thought it was, like, a squid or something like that. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, it's the dream mist. Yeah, but I realize, I realize now. But yeah, I, I think I like that spot for it. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. All right, Pidov. Pidov, Pidov kind of derpy. Yeah. I feel like a pretty average bird for yeah. a region bird. Yeah. I think, I think it's, yeah, I think it's fine right there. Tranquil. Yeah. Tranquil. Tranquil. I think I like Tranquil. Definitely more than the monkeys. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you think it's C tier? Yeah, I'd probably place it like top of C tier. Alright. And then on pheasant. I'll 
also uh, sorry if any of y'all can hear that. Uh, it's storming by us. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't rained yet. It's just. It's just thunder. Yeah. Is that heat lightning and heat thunder? <laughs> heat thunder. <laughs> and pheasant. I. Is this thing can hit pretty hard? Pheasant's it's like one of the only flying types in this game. It's like you know, if you need a flying type, you like don't really have much of a choice. Yeah. So like for that reason, I feel like it's. I think it's probably, like, above herdier, in my opinion. Okay. I didn't think so. Yeah, because, like, you know, it's... It's average. Like, like you know, if there was, like... If you had, a, like, Staraptor in this game, mm -hmm. it'd be, like, you'd pick Staraptor every single time. <laughs> but, like, because you don't, it's, like... You kind of don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. All right. Blitzel. Blitzel's cute. Yeah, I love, super I love cute. Pretty good Electro-type early on. Zeb Stryka. Oh, Zeb Stryka is so She's cool. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chalk that boy up there. Yeah. He's, yeah, oh, he's so good. I think I gave that thing Rain Dance, Flame, Flame Charge, uh, Thunder, and Thunderbolt. I don't know why you would teach him that. He's a physical attacker. You should teach him Wild Charge. I don't like. I don't like moves that hurt my Pokemon. <laughs> well, you just put like a Life Orb on it, and you make him take like a billion damage from himself using his own moves. Nice. And he just like instant kills Pokemon. <laughs> All right. I should probably do that next time. Rock and roll. Up. Yeah. Little rocky boy. Yeah. I think. I think it's, it's got good defense. It doesn't really do many attacks early on, so maybe below Pidove. Yeah, it's like... At least Bedove can attack. <laughs> yeah. It, but it's got good defense to make up for, which is its whole thing. Yeah, it just learns, like, tackle. Yeah. Boldor, Boldor's alright. Boldor's actually at a pretty good point, because, uh... It learns sturdy. Yeah, yeah, it has sturdy. It's one of the biggest counters to Amolga in, uh, Elise's gym. Mm-hmm. Which is, which is, like, a kind of hard Pokemon to get a good counter for, because it's, like, flying electric's pretty hard to... Like, because you don't have access oh, to ice types. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that doesn't come until Drift Fail, so this is a pretty good. Yeah, so I think probably. for that reason, he's probably... I feel like B. Yeah, he's somewhere in B. You think he's above Snivy? Uh, like, probably not. Okay. Does, 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 would this look right? Yeah, yeah. I'd say so. All and right. And Gigalith. I have actually not had the chance to use this in any of my runs because I didn't have friends. Yeah. But, I would love to use one in mine, but I don't know how to trade on a ROM. Yeah, but Gigalith is such a good Pokemon. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's it can take it, it's like a huge physical wall. It deals a ton of damage. Mm -hmm. Like I think can learn like I have been hit many a time by a Gigalith with a Giga Impact and that thing just one shots my Pokemon yeah. from full health. And it's got a hell of defense. Yeah. I think I'd put it over Watchog. Yeah. Oh, okay. Watchog. Okay. Move that. <laughs> yeah, as much as as much as I want Wubat and Swubat to be good, they're they don't. Come on, let's think of Cosmo real quick. They, Motherfucker cannot take a hit. Their stats just don't keep up for this game. It's yeah. like it's like they try to make it like Crobat, but it just is bad. <laughs> You're right. It is. All right. I'd probably a little bit maybe uh, right here. I mean, I'd rather have it than like everything else in C tier. I'd probably put it at the top of C tier. Okay. What, both of them? No. Okay, just... Just Swoobat. Okay. Because, like, like, would you rather use a Tranquil or a Swoobat? I think Swoobat's better. Yeah, Swoobat's better. I, well, I did use a Swoobat. <laughs> yeah. All right, Drillbear. Oh, a cute Dr little ground type. Drillbear's so cute, and, he, and he's actually pretty good. Like... I feel well, like a nice B tier for yeah. a good early on ground. Yeah, I'd probably place him above, like, Lillipop. Yeah. Oh. Uh, actually, you can place him behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. There we go. <laughs> Excadrill. Oh, my goodness. That's a good Pokemon. I taught it ridiculous. so many different, like, move diversities and everything like that. It's so good. I just remember in our Nuzlocke, I taught Excadrill Sword Stance, and uh, I just sweeped and then gets us with it. Yeah, I should probably... Oh, shit, I don't have a drill bar. We can get in Victory Road still. Yeah, he There's is... There's still a chance. <laughs> he is ridiculous. That is, that is just... That's such a good Pokemon. All right. I don't know. It's a good HM slave if you do need one. I, I, on mine, I did teach it a lot of stupid moves like Surf, Thunderbolt, Grass on, and Flamethrower. Yeah, I think, I think Odino is like okay. I think it's, I think it's average. Mm -hmm. 
It's a good way of farming berries if you need berries. <laughs> it's a good way of farming XP. Yeah. Oh, especially XP. I feel like it's pr it's a good average. Yeah. I think I think good we don't, above average. I don't think we bother ranking Mega Audino because that's not a Gen Five thing. Yeah, I guess F. <laughs> you can just make like a new tier that says like not in Gen Five. <laughs> you know what? Uh, add a row below. Thank you. And then just go Mega. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, timber, fighting type, good for the uh, the early normal type gym. Tim yeah, timber's pretty good. Yeah. I think uh, I think timber's like uh, like above probably above Lillipop. Okay. In my opinion, I think you know fighting early fighting types are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Okay, Girder, pr pretty solid. I just hate the way his veins look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if you could get, like, if Conkeldor was easier to get... Yeah, other than trading. Yeah, because he is so strong. Mm -hmm. Like, his move coverage is, is really, really good. I think I'd put him above... I think I'd put him above Superior. Oh, okay. Alright, Temple! Uh, Temple. T Temple's, Temple's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. T Temple's cute, but it does, like, nothing. Yeah, it took a while for mine to get trained enough to evolve... Yeah, I think... Oh, maybe, maybe average. Probably a little above yeah. that. Uh, Palpatoad. Yeah. Palpatoad. 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 Palpatoad's when, it, when he starts to get a little bit better. Mm -hmm. You know, Palpatoad... Palpatoad has access to... I think he gets access to muddy water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And reminds me of, like, a... Like, you know, I'll, I'll use this saying a lot, but it's like a... It's like um, we have a mud kip at home. <laughs> mud kip at home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Water so, ground. I think water ground's pretty good. I think I think he's probably below Audino. Mhm. Mm okay. This one. Because water ground's such a good type. Yeah. yeah. Seismitoad, on the other hand, Seismitoad. This thing can take hits. Yeah. As so, long as it's not grass. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably put Seismitoad above Watchog, in my opinion. Yeah. Cause like, you know, if you don't have like, if they don't have a grass type, then, like, what are they going to do to it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Throw. Throw and suck. You know, as, like, as weird as they are, being, like, you know, single stage evolutions, mm -hmm. they're actually pretty good. Yeah. Like, I think I'd put them both in the, around the same spot. I think, mm. I think they're probably... Probably B. Yeah, I think they're probably, actually, I'd probably put them... Below Simipore? Okay. Yeah, I, these things can hit pretty hard. They can hit pretty hard. I always think about the times when Marshall uses them, like how annoying they can be because they yeah. can learn Stone Edge. Yeah, so many different, like, diversity moves. Yeah, and they have Sturdy, so you can't, like, one-shot it. Yeah. No, this one has Sturdy, and then these ones have, like, Guts. <laughs> so, you, so if you paralyze it or burn or poison, it just does more damage to you. <laughs> Yeah. So there's no winning. All right, uh, Swaddle, little grass bug type. Swaddle's pretty cute, but it does nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Swabloon. Swabloon. A better. Sw sw Swabloon's a little bit less cute, but does a little bit more. So yeah. You know. Maybe a bu little bu between the monkeys. Uh, I'd like to keep the monkeys together. I think. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. Yeah. Alright, Levani. Levani's pretty good. Levani's a fast bug grass mm -hmm. Pokemon, so you know, you give it Leaf Blade, you give it. Um, Protect, that's what I gave mine. Yeah, you give it some stuff like that. It's It's, re it's yeah. really good because you can bait out fire moves with it. It's mm -hmm. really good because you can bait out flying moves with it. Yeah, and rock moves too. Yeah, so. And then so you I, just switch to something that's resistant to it. Yeah, I think it just falls off really hard in the late in like the late and end game, but yeah. like. If you have this Pokemon early game, it's really strong. Yeah, I feel like a high B is good for it. Uh, I'd probably be low A. No, I'd probably put it a little bit below Sock. I'd probably put it like right below Sock. Okay. Just because, like, like it is really good. If it was as good as it was during the early game, as in the mm -hmm. late game, I'd probably put it A tier. But mm -hmm. it just falls off really hard. All right. This one. Venipede. Poison Bug. Venipede's pretty good. 
I'd, I'd say... It can be annoying with poison touch. Yeah, I'd say it's probably above Swab Swadloon. Okay. Because, uh... At least it has a resistant type or something. Yeah, yeah, because poison, poison is a pretty good defensive type. Mm -hmm. uh, bug can be pretty useful against psychic and dark types. Yeah. Um, Whirlipede. Definitely higher than this guy. Yeah, I think I'd put Whirlipede probably below... I'd probably put it above Blitzel, but... There it is. Okay. Yeah. Because I think... I think he has decent stats, um, uh, decent typing, mm -hmm. like, I think, I think he's just all around a pretty good Pokemon. Yeah. Now this is a guy. A Scallopede be... is really strong. Yeah, I feel like it's A tier, dude. Yeah, I think I'd put it behind Seismitoad. Okay, there it is. Because <laughs> that thing has access to speed boost, mm -hmm. which is, which gives it, and I think it has access to sword stance as well. Damn, so it's pretty good. Yeah, you can you could real like it could be a potential sweeper if you set it up right. Mm. All right, Cottony, the cotton Pokemon. Cottony's pretty cool. Now in this game it's grass, but in six and up it's grass fairy. Yeah, I wish. Uh, I wish we got fairy, even yeah. though it's literally the only Pokemon that is a fairy type. Yeah, I think I think uh, we should rank it as it is now. <laughs> yeah. Which I'd probably put it. Above Pan Sage? Okay. Yeah, but below Swamp Blue. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Whimsicott. Okay, Whimsicott has kind of a good amount of things going for it because um, it's really fast. Mm -hmm. Whimsicott's really good and competitive uh, because it's really fast and I'm pretty sure it has access to Prankster, which means it gets priority on status conditions. Oh. So, status conditions and I think like things like Tailwind. So, it's it's actually pretty good for setting up your team. Mm -hmm. Maybe not so much in a Nuzlocke, but uh, but it's pretty good for for yeah, I'd probably place it. Probably place it. Uh, probably place it above Lee Vanny. Okay. It has more potential in in the late game than yeah. Lee Vanny does. All right. Pedagol, I feel like kind of right here with the other. With yeah, Kani. I mean, I mean, they're, they're I mean, just, they are the dual opposites of each other. Yeah, they're just cute little, little cute little plants. Yeah. Now I know you. I well, I know I'm putting my girl right there. All right, I'll, I'll <laughs> let you. I'll let you have that one. It's, Listen, it's, it's pretty good. Like I, I'll. You can be annoying as shit with it, right? You get you get that shit big root. You give it Giga Drain. You give it Stun Spore. You give it Quiver Dance, and you give it Leech Seed, right? That's all you need. I mean, I mean, uh, I, uh, that's five moves, but... What do you mean? That's not five moves? You said five moves, and you held up your hand five. That's not, wait, I said Big Root? Oh, 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 the, the <laughs> item, the yeah. item, the item. Yeah, if yeah. you have, like, core, uh, the move, the, the ability that your shit gets boosted in the sun, you can give it Sun Dance, sun, uh, Sunday, Sunny Day, except, like... Sunday. Sun, sunny day, except for leech seed, sun, if you want to. Su but Sunday, sun dance. <laughs> Shut up! I don't want to hear it from you. Yeah, my bad. I, I, I'll let you, I'll let you do it because I think it's I think it's actually good. Yeah. Regardless of where you're at in the game. Yeah. So. Now this thing is garbage. It's fucking. It's annoying. That's all this thing has going for it. Yeah, it low key kind of hits harder than you think it does. But yeah. Yeah, I, but you wouldn't use this thing. Yeah, I, it's I mean, I, I useless would, to your team. There's, but it's there's useless way, to there's way better water types. If they had the evolution in this game, yeah. Then, oh my gosh. All right. That's my little boy. That's my little boy. He deserves to be probably high C. High C. I think he's more useful than like timber. <laughs> all right, all right, Dan. <laughs> Yeah. All right, I think, I, think, I think he's cute. If if I had my way, I would have put all three of these in S tier. But crocodile. No, that's Crocorock. Crocorock. I think Crocorock's probably the top of B tier. Top of B tier. You think it's above the the sock brothers? Yeah, and. Uh, you think I, it's above Semipore though? That's that's what I'm not sure about. I feel like they're tied. I feel like those two. Yeah, cause like. Cause you this one's a really good physical attacker. This one's a good special attacker. Yeah. So and, I feel like they're pretty high. And Crocorock, the the reason that I say that these Pokemon are so good, actually, I'd put Sandile above Blitzel. Okay. 
I think it's honestly the best out of the like first stage Pokemon, just because it gets access to Intimidate. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. You can use again Intimidate or Moxie on it. Yeah, because it has access to Intimidate, I think it's better than those. But I think that's a good spot for Krokrok as well. For so Crocodile. Like, for like high A. I think Crocodile's an S tier Pokemon. All right, argue. I want to hear your statement. Okay, hear me out. So Crocodile has the ground dark typing, so uh, it has access to stab earthquake mm -hmm. and it has access to stab crunch, of which there's psychic and ghost type elite four members. So this thing in the right conditions can completely sweep the, uh, those teams. Mm -hmm. uh, it getting stab earthquake means that, uh, especially in the second game when you have to go up against Chorus, mm -hmm. this Pokemon is a literal nightmare for uh, for those Pokemon. You can throw this thing up against Pokemon that it's weak against, and it'll still just one-shot it with Earthquake. Damn. And, and not to mention that it gets two of the best abilities in the game, an Intimidate and Moxie. Mm -hmm. So it can be a Moxie Sweeper, or it can be an Intimidate Pivot. Yeah. So I think I think it's just one of the one of the best Pokemon in the game. If, right. it, if it had the same typing as Excadrill, I would say it's probably the best Pokemon in the game. Yeah. All right. Der Dermanitan. No, that one's Darumaka. Dar Darumaka. <laughs> Darumaka's cute, except Listen, I think it can it can hit hard because I keep forgetting that, and that's how I lost my cat and my Nuzlocke. But it, this thing cannot take a hit for to no, save it, its it, life. No, it cannot, and it and it sometimes has hustle, which yes. means its accuracy is is down. Yeah. So it hits really hard. Don't get yeah, me wrong. Yeah, doesn't it like it it increases the power but decreases accuracy? Yeah, so it's yeah. like a trial so, and error. Yeah. So. So it's like gambling. <laughs> yeah. So well, I think I think it's probably prob low C. No, I think it's I think it's probably below Drillbur. Where's fucking Drillbur? In, in B tier. Oh, okay. Because I think I think when you get a Darumaka, like you're, if I got a Darumaka, I'd be much happier than getting any of the rest of these Pokemon below it. Yeah. All Darmanitan, right. on the other hand. This thing can hit fucking hard. I if feel you're like miss it's if a. you're missing a fire type, this thing like I would put it above Scolipede. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because that thing, if you get sheer force on it, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. Now, what do you feel about Zenmo Darmant? Uh, yeah, I'd probably put it... I can't remember if this thing is better or worse, because I never got access to Zenmo Darmanitan. Oh, that thing's easy. Yeah, I, I just never used it because I was like, I was like, oh, uh... My fire type has always been Chandelure. Gotcha. Okay. So, so I never, I never really got to use Darmanitan that much. I just know it hits really hard. Yeah. Probably right there. Okay. I'll probably I'll, good. I'll trust, I know it's I'll a tin ability, and yeah. I know like the Professor Juniper is like, you should show this rage candy bar in front of it, and then he attacks you. Yeah. From the statue. Yeah. Cactus. All right, Maractus. This thing is actually pretty strong. Yeah. Because it, it also, gets access to Petal Dance. Yeah, and also it has Water Absorb, so it can't. So it not only can't get hit by Water type moves, it heals from them as well. Yeah. So this thing's a good pivot. So honestly, yeah. I'd so if you know it, it's gonna use a Water type move, might as well heal. I'd put it probably above Levani, but below Whimsicott. Yeah. Because so it's a good Grass early on. Yeah. Especially for like a single stage. Yeah, I think it, I think it's overall a pretty good Pokemon. Dwebble. Dwebble's cute. I I fucking love Dwebble. Dwebble is it, so cute. It's only weak against rock, water, and steel, and it can. Rock like, doesn't resist rock. No, apparently not. Well, it's also rock bug. Well, yeah, I'm just saying. I'm surprised rock doesn't resist rock because no. it, then it would make it neutral. Yeah. But yeah, that's its three weaknesses, and it can have either sturdy or um, what's the other one? It it just makes it so it doesn't get hit by critical hits. Oh, oh, it has what yeah, is it, that's shell my, armor? Yeah, my, that's what my Crestle has. Oh, if it has access to shell armor, it's it's a lot better than I thought it was. Yeah. Cause that's, yeah, because that's what my Crestle has in my Nuzlocke. That's a really good ability for Nuzlocke. Yeah, that's what mine has. <laughs> yeah, so Dwebble, Dwebble, I'd probably put him... Probably... Right there. Oh, no, I don't think I don't think he's that good. Right, right here. I don't think he's that good. Right here. I don't think he's that good. Right here. <laughs> I think he's better than that. Right here. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd probably say that, because, because you know he's he's not he's not terrible, but he's not. I don't think he's better than any of the. Because like you know you have your, I think they're called like the Route Twelve Pokemon mm -hmm. in Sandile. Uh, Route Twelve. I think it's Route Twelve. Route Four. 
Whatever. Route 4 is the desert. Okay. It, it, mi it might be different in the other games. What, the second game? Yeah. No, it's still Route 4 is the okay, desert Okay, okay. Never mind it. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> but uh, but uh, you have Sandile, Darumaka, and Scraggy that are like the three Pokemon that you can get in that area that are all like really good. Yeah. But so I think I think you know he gets outshined by, a little bit by those, but Dwebble's Dwebble's still pretty good. Yeah, well, he's tanky. Yeah, but Dwebble's mainly in the desert resort. Yeah. Same thing with Maractus and the Sigilith. Yeah. All right, Crustle. Crustle, I'd say Crustle. Crustle's probably a. And you can learn Shell Smash. Probably above Maractus, if I were to say. I think yeah. he, I think he has potential more usage than yeah. than the rest of the Pokemon there, just because of how tanky he is, mm -hmm. and he can get access to shell armor. Like, yeah. Like, shell armor is such a, is such a good ability. Mm -hmm. Alright, Scraggy. Dark, uh, dark fighting. I've only used a Scraggy or Scrafty once, but I was not disappointed, I think. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to use it on my next, uh, my next run. Yeah, I think, I think it's actually pretty good. I, th I think, I think he's, he's funny in the anime, too, because he he's keeps pulling up his pants. Yeah, and he keeps flying. <laughs> I yeah. love his little animation about that too, where he goes like, "Yippee!" and then his pants fall down. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think he's probably probably between Simisage and Darumaka. Very cool. Yeah. All right, big boy. Scrafty. You like? Scrafty. Like somewhere up here. Yeah, I think Scrafty's above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Sigilith. I used one on my first ever run of Pokemon Black, and I Pokemon Black Two, sorry, and I was not disappointed. It does have a lot of weaknesses, but you can teach this thing so many different moves, it's, and if you play it well, then you can sweep. It's surprisingly good. Yeah. I I thought it was going to be much worse, but it is surprisingly good. It's an A for me. If you if you want to keep it there, then I'll I'll allow it. I'd probably put it above Watchog, but. Well, it is above Watchog. No, I'm saying I'd probably put oh. it like, right above Watchog. Yeah. But if you wanted to keep it there, I would... No, no, no. I, I feel like this is good for it. Yeah, because I think, I think its its coverage is really good. Yeah. You know, know what's cool about this so far? Hmm. My first ever Black 2 run, I did Samurott, Escadrille, Zebstrike, <laughs> Dar Darmanitan, and uh, Sigilith. Which one's missing? I forgot which I one. Yeah, Audino. Where's <laughs> it? Then there's the B. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I wish Audino was better than it is. It's just, it's just we have Chansey at home. Yeah. Oh shit! After this, I should show you Lucasjin playing Pokemon Black, and she was go like all of her Pokemon got sweet except for the Audino, and she was going up against the High Dragon, and she like actually killed the thing with the Audino in I mean, the most broken way. <laughs> yeah. Because um, I think she gave it a track, and it was hers was a girl, and theirs was a boy, so. Like it had opposites, so she taught it to track to the actually that's pr that's worked. Funny. That's yeah. Funny. All right, um, your mask. All right, your mask is kind of poopy, but Cuffagrigus on the other hand. It's got mummy, so you can get rid of uh, uh, troublesome uh, abilities early on. Yeah, I think so it's probably. I think it's probably top of. S actually, you know. Bottom B. You know, it's actually better than I thought it was because just because of the fact that it's a ghost type. Yeah, so it's an early ghost type as well. I think it's probably above Dwebble. Because now call the grievous. The single learn psychic. The single learn shadow ball. Protect. You, you it's got wanna, mummy. So you you want to talk about it. a bulky Pokemon? Yeah. This this thing this thing is very bulky, and I think I think it has potential use like across like everything. Because you know you can teach it. A toxic too. Yeah, you can teach a toxic, um, <laughs> toxic and like rest and, and mm -hmm. shit like that. Yeah, so you can be annoying with this thing, and also it can take away your ability. Yeah, I think it's probably above throw. All right, little turtle. Uh, my little boy, Tortuga. Tortuga. Yeah, I love Tortuga. I think he's so cute. <laughs> you know, I think I think he's, I think he's okay. Like, he's cute, but he's okay. He's four times weak to grass, weak yeah. to fighting, weak to steel. Um, yeah. So I mean, I think, I think he's not. Right here. Per se, yeah. Probably yeah, this up. guy. Yeah. Carrot Costa. He, he's doing really good on my Nuzlocke right now. He's very bulky. Yeah. He's very a lot bulky, of and he's and he's actually ve he's actually pretty strong too. Yeah. He's just very slow. Yeah. Well, I mean that's his whole gimmick is like, like a tank, right? A yeah. slow tank. Yeah, I'd probably put it. I feel like low B. 
Yeah, I think I think it. I think well, it low A, good. sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Maybe. pretty good. I think it's, I think it's technically the worst of the two fossils. Really? But I don't like this one. Well, I understand why people like it, but if you get hit like halfway, your the fetus activates and then your defense and attack is slashed in half. Yes. And you can't get rid of the ability. There's no secret ability for that Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, but the whole point of Archeops is that it should be faster than most Pokemon. And well, it's so stupid. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, Archon. Well, Archon's probably a little bit better than Tortuga is. Probably right yeah. there. A little better than Dwebble. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then I, I'm guessing... Yeah, I probably think, up here. <laughs> I think Archeops. Yeah, I think probably Ar better than Sigilyph. I think Archeops, besides any legendaries, is probably the best flying type in the game. Yeah, I can probably agree with you there. Yeah. All right, actual garbage. Yeah, <laughs> he's not. He's not great. Yeah. He doesn't have much going for him besides the fact that he's garbage. Yeah, and that's the whole joke. <laughs> yeah, and then Garbodor. I mean. The this thing is a physical attacker, but all poison moves are mainly special. But it does learn Gunk Shot, which is physical technically, but it's only five and it's not a hundred percent accuracy. Yeah, I think I so. Think, maybe low B. I think you know people typically don't use this Pokemon. Oh, I don't think I. I That's generous. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I think I think it's probably above like Levani. Oh shit. I think, Sorry, Lee Vanny. <laughs> I think it's surprisingly useful. People don't give it the chance to shine mm -hmm. because poison's a very bulky type, mm -hmm. but it also can deal out a lot of damage. It's just, you know, like you said, I don't think it gets gunk shot for a while. Yeah, and that's the, like really the only physical. I don't think it can learn poison jab. At least I don't think it can. But like yeah. a really good poison physical move is gunk shot. Yeah, so I think I mean I think it's I think it's pretty good. Yeah, better than people think. Yeah, this so, guy, Zoro, oh, fox. Zoro is so cute. Yeah, it, I, I feel like it's. No, I feel uh, it's it's pretty much locked in the first game. You yeah. have to have the an event Celebi in order to get it, which you have to trade from like two games. So if you never did that event, you're you never get it. In the second game, you get it as, like, a gift yeah. in the sixth town, I believe, in Driftvale, when you learn about Team Plasma again. So, at least you get to use it then, and, and it's level 25, so you don't have to start from level 1. So I thought, I thought N gave it to you. No, no, you get it from, like, one of the sages, and he's like, oh, oh he left right. this little guy behind because he freed all of his Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, so, that's and what... it's got... It, it copies the... The appearance of the Pokemon in your in the back of the party, so you can fool people. Yeah, I think, I think it's so probably I feel like above it's... Dwebble at least. Yeah, Dwebble. All right, and it's better counterpart. Zoroark is actually really good. Yeah. I think I think that thing probably deserves. Uh, probably. Mm -hmm. Above above Watchog at least. I feel like right here is pretty good. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it is pretty cool. This is definitely furry bait. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. So pretty. Alright. Minchino. Minchino. It's alright. <laughs> I mean... It's probably better than Pat Rat. <laughs> Anything better than a Pat Rat. Probably put it, like... There. Yeah. Alright, and then... Shinchino. Uh, you can learn, uh, Focus Blast. I think it's honestly... And Brick Break. Probably below Masharna. Yeah. Because I, I think it's, uh, it, it has the ability to know, I can't remember what that Q ability charm? is. Q-Charm? No, well, yes, but it has the other ability. I don't remember the, the other one, The one that makes it able to hit Tail Slap five times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, which is actually pretty decent. Alright, we got some Gen exclusives. First, Pokemon Black's exclusive, Gotharina. Put her in F. Okay. That is, like, the worst design of a Pokemon I've ever seen. A goth baby. That's disgusting. <laughs> All right, this one. <laughs> I think this one's like an angsty teen. I think that one's that one's a little bit better. I think mm -hmm. it's probably. Uh, I like it's, it's, it's not. It's not terrible. Yeah, that's probably yeah. fine. All right, and then big got, girl. Got the tells probably. For, yeah, it's pretty decent. You can learn thunderbolt apparently. Yeah, I mean it's a psychic. An energy type. ball. Yeah. Yeah, psychic types can learn a lot of moves. 
Uh, I don't know if I, I don't know, that but high. they use it in the Elite Four, so it must be pretty good. Yeah, yeah, but maybe. maybe but I mean, they they over. also use Leopard in the Elite Four. Yeah, so. I guess you're right. Maybe right here. Yeah, I'd say it's probably fine. All right, Solosis. Solosis is is okay. He's really cute. He's really cute. I think I think he's above Muna. Yeah. Duosion. Yeah. So Duosion is. Duotion's pretty decent. It's mm -hmm. actually pretty bulky for yeah. a psychic type, and it deals a, de a decent amount of damage. Yeah, I probably I probably yeah. place it in B tier. Yeah. Yeah, and then this little guy. Reuniclus, honestly, Reuniclus is surprisingly good. Yeah, I feel like it, and a low A is probably good for him. Yeah, yeah, because I think I think it's I think it's very good. Mm-hmm. Right, Ducklet. Uh, a little Ducklet. Yep, we against electric and rock. Yeah, ducklet. Ducklet's okay. Ducklet is it's cute. Yeah, it's probably it's it's a little bit like below average, but it's not not bad. Yeah. Swana. Yeah. Apparently, this thing can learn frost breath when you egg it, like breed it through an egg. Yeah, I think Swana is very good as an HM Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I really want. <laughs> but it's also not terrible uh, as a flying type. It's just. It's not very sturdy. Yeah. So, so maybe low B. No, uh, I'd probably place it above on pheasants, maybe? Who the fuck is on pheasant again? <laughs> uh, in B2 still. Because yeah. I, think, I think it's better than on pheasant as a flying type, mm -hmm. but how much better? Not really that yeah. much. Yeah, it only has the water thing going for it. Yeah. Alright. A little uh, ice cream cone. A little ice cream cone. I used to think that these were the dumbest Pokemon, and now that I've used them in some of my playthroughs, I've realized that they're actually pretty good. Yeah. Like, fast, fast uh, special attackers. Let me tell you, this thing's cute, but it don't know how to take a hit at all until yeah, it evolves. Yeah, I, I, So I feel like this is a pretty good... Yeah. It's cute, it's going moves, it's just, it, you can just kill it immediately. Well, would you rather have a Sea Waddle or that? I love Sea Waddle. Uh, I've been using my Levani the whole time. Well, yeah, but well, yeah, we're not basing it off the evolution here. Would you rather have a Sea Waddle or a Vanillite? I'd probably rather have a Vanillite. Yeah, I think okay. that's fine. Alright. Van Vanillish? Yep. Yeah, and this is Vanillux. Yeah. Vanillish is pretty good. I The only annoying part about it, this thing would be, would be so good um, if it was... Actually, I think it's I think it's pretty good. I think, yeah. it's, I think it's above Herdier. Where the fuck is Herdier again? In this in the same tier. Oh, like, was, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. You're, Sorry, you're, all the pixels perfect. are blending together. <laughs> yeah. I Vanillux, a. I think Vanillux is actually really good. Yeah. Probably I feel like right here. Uh, is it speedy special? Okay. You can yeah. Set if, up if, yeah. If, if you want to put it there, yeah. And uh, you can set up light screen and really reflect to make it like last longer as well you can set up hail and then have ice body to heal and also do damage to the other people's pokemon i think it's the strongest attacking ice type in the game besides kurum yeah all right dearling four different forms but we got the spring one Deerling's pretty cute yeah i it's grass normal uh it has a lot of move diversity early on yeah i'd say so pretty high C for me. You think, you think it's only C tier? Pretty low B for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sawsbuck. Sawsbuck. Sawsbuck's pretty good. I, I like the autumn form better on this thing. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I feel like, yeah, de when you get Deerling on Route 6, it, this thing evolves pretty fast. Yeah. And then you can use her for clay. Yeah. So I feel like a little below, little above, the sock brothers. Oh, I'll agree with that. Mm. Amolga. Amolga's cute. So this version's, uh, is this version's electric mouse. Yep. Or electric rodent. Well, it's a squirrel. <laughs> I, that's why I said electric rodent. Yeah. Um, um, it can't get hit by ground. It's only really weak against ice and rock. Yeah. And it has static. And yeah. those acrobatics. It's really good early Double game. team. It can be annoying when it wants to be. So I feel like... 
I'll go, probably I'll go a low B. With, yeah, I'll go with your gut on this one. Probably a little above Witzel. Yeah. Because it has I'll, the flying ability. Yeah. I, I think that's that's a very good spot for it. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't have to think about it. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Now, if you're able to evolve this thing, this thing's pretty fucking good. Yeah, I think. Probably a, a, a high B. Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably put it up. Yeah, probably right here. Yeah. Because whenever you whenever you have a steel type, it's just, like, almost always good. Yeah. I don't know when a steel type has ever been bad. Yeah. All right. Little fungus. Fungus isn't great. But he's trying. Yeah, a little, little garbage. Yeah. A Moongus on the other yeah, hand. Yeah, he's a bulky motherfucker. I'd put him in A tier. Yeah. You think he's above superior? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. Like, because grass poison types have almost always been, like, decent. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you've got Roserade, you've got um, Vile Plume, Venusaur. Mm -hmm. They've almost always been pretty decent. Mm -hmm. And he's really bulky. He learns Spore. He learns Giga Drain. Like, like I think I think he's got, like, you know, the box is checking for Plus, he's the, the imposter. Alright, as much as I love this thing, uh, it... It can't really take a hit, but it can do damage. Just yeah. Just like our, our little buddy right here, so I feel like that's a good spot for it. It has no curse body, so you can disable move. So you can bait out a move, switch that in, and then hope it disables. Which I think that's only for physical attacks, right? I think so. Yeah, so. Alright, This Jellison. thing can hit hard. Jellison's pretty good. I'd say, I'd say it's up in the upper echelon of B tier. Probably up here. Yeah, I think our ranking of it might change depending on how you use it in the, in the Nuzlocke. Yeah. If it's, it's performing good. really good, it might go up. If it's performing really bad, it might go down. Yeah, it might go up and down really fast. Yeah, yep, yeah, stick it in there. Yep, yeah, that's, that's, that Pokemon is fucking terrible. Yes. Alright, little Sanji guy. Joltik's so cute. Yeah. He is really, really cute. And he's not, he's not too bad. Yeah, I feel like probably mid. Middle. Do you think he's here? better than like a sand dial though? Maybe right here. Better than an Emolga. Okay. Galvantula. Galvantula is Yeah, you go on A tier. Yeah. He is he's surprisingly good. Mm hmm Like, you know, whenever I see a bug type I always get weary of it, but he's one of the ones that's uh, that's proved me wrong. If he's fast enough, he does he does enough damage, mm -hmm. yeah. I'd, I'd probably say that's a good yeah. for him. Alright. Uh Ferro Seed. Steel grass. War times weak against fire. Pharaoh seed, okay. Pharaoh seed. You see, Pharaoh Thorn. I wish you had in your Nuzlocke. That'd be such a good Pokemon for yeah. your team. But MK served her purpose before dying. <laughs> yeah. Pharaoh seed. Yeah, I think uh, Pharaoh seeds. Pharaoh seed's not that great compared to how it evolves. Like. Yeah. So maybe. Maybe a little above. Like, like, right there? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Alright, and then Pharaoh Seed. Alright, where's the A tier? <laughs> yeah, Pharaoh Thorn. Oh my goodness. This, this thing, this thing is so tanky. It can do Gyro Ball. Oh my gosh. It can be so annoying. Like, <laughs> it, it's just, it just will tank literally like any hit. Yeah. I also love that in this version he's floating on cool and shit, and then in later ones when they made him 3D, he like comes out like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looks stupid. Yeah. Clink! Clink is okay. Pure steel! Clink, Clink is. You think he's better than Pharaoh Seed? Probably not. Because Pharaoh Seed has more coverage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Clink, I mean, generic steel type. Not, not terrible, but. It's a first stage, so it's not fantastic either. Yeah. Alright. Clang. Clang. Clang is... Clang is pretty decent. Clang, I would say, you know... Uh, I don't know if I'd rank him that that high. But... Yeah, that's, that's, pro that's probably about right. right. Actually, put it, put it above Garbodor. Alright. Yeah. And then... Clang Clang. Clang Clang. Oh. I used one of these in my... Uh, in our Nuzlocke when we played it. Yeah. And what did I have as my souling person? Was it was it a Joltik? I think it was a Joltik. Oh, good. 
Yeah, so I would say I'd say it's probably about there. Like Kling yeah. Kling Kling's tanky. No, pure steel type. Uh, resists like fucking everything. Mm-hmm. And also it knows electric type moves. Yeah, you can teach a thunderbolt. Granted, it won't now, do that much damage. Now this thing, no weakness because it has levitate. Yeah, but he's he's the little baby one. The little baby one, little sperm cells, not not too great. So like at least a little bit below. Yeah. Little guy. Okay. Electric. This guy. Yeah, he's like probably the best of the second stages. Mhm. Mm uh, yeah, I'd probably put him. I wouldn't put him up that high. I'd probably put him above, like, vanilla, vanillish. Yeah. And then Electros. Oh my goodness. This thing is a nightmare. Yeah, because it has such a good move diversity. I'd but it's hard to find a Pokemon that doesn't, it, that isn't weak against this thing. Yeah, I'd probably put it above... Oh. You know, it might go above Zepstrika. Oh, okay. Unless, unless you want to put it... No, I, it I, does have good move diversity. I will give you that. I think it has way better move diversity than uh, Zepstrika does. Poor Oshawott. He knows his time's gonna come where he gets dethroned. <laughs> I don't know. Oshawott's chilling. He's yeah. <laughs> he's having a great time. Alright. Little alien. I'm not gonna lie. I never fucking use this Pokemon. Yeah. Like, I think, I think the Evolve form's, like, not terrible, but, like... Mm -hmm. I think I, the... I think the Psychic person uses this one. Oh, sorry. I think so. So, this one... Again, no clue. I've never used this thing. I think it's good. I, I'll take your word for it. I'll put it a little above this one. Sure. Like the lake. Yeah, a little boy. You got a candle on his head that's used to lower children and suck their souls. Yeah, I think. So automatics. <laughs> yeah, I think I think him first. Him, he's like okay. Yeah, early on. Yeah. This one's pretty good. Yeah, I think he starts to get good at this point. Yeah. So yeah, I think I think he's probably right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Chandelure. Oh, Chandelure. Uh, they almost they almost gave Chandelure Shadow Tag. Yeah, that's what I heard. And then yeah. they're like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Chandelure is probably one of the better fire types in the game. Yeah, yeah I'd say right there. Yeah. All right, Axew. Axew's so cute. He's a little he's, chompy boy. Yeah, he's chompy. Yeah. So. Chomp, chompy boy, I think he, out of all the, like, little, little Pokemon, I think, yeah, where'd you put him? Right there. I think out of all the little Pokemon, he's the best one. Yeah, maybe. Like, I think, above Sandile. Above Sandile? Yeah. Yeah. Are as, you okay? As much, as much as I hate to say it. Alright. Fracture, uh, Fracture's pretty good. Fracture, yeah, Fracture's probably up there. Yeah. And then... Haxorus. Oh my goodness, this Pokemon is a freaking beast. I think I think it's above Zepstrika. Oh. Daring today, are we? Yeah. Cupchu. Cupchu's pretty cute. Yeah. <laughs> Bear tick. Bear tick? You can hit hard for an ice type. Yeah. Physical ice type. <laughs> yeah, if only there was a lot better physical ice type moves, then this thing would be better. Yeah, I feel like that's a very good yeah, place for yeah, it. Yeah, that's, prob that's probably good enough. Yeah. Alright. This thing. I have uh, a lot of words against this Pokemon, but uh... Team Plasma seems to like it, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably right here. Okay, that's fair. You can set up light screen and reflect. It can have ice beam. It can have aurora beam. Its hidden power is fire. For some reason. Yep. All right, moving on. All right, bug. Excelgore is Excelgore. I'd probably put it. Mm, I'd probably put it. It's a really fast bug type. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably put it there. Yeah. Stunfish. Stunfish is cool. Ground electric single type. Yeah. Probably. Probably right. Here. Yeah, probably right there. Definitely. Russell's better. If his, if his stats were better, then he'd be a lot better. Uh, so I got a Pokemon that evolves late. <laughs> yeah, me and Fu is kind of poopy. Yeah. Definitely better than Sock and Throw, but it just takes a while for it to go up to you, the level. You think you think that that individual Pokemon's better than Sock and Throw? Yeah. Because uh, it evolves 
Okay. All right. Fair enough. Now this is a good one. I yeah. can see why Marshall uses this. Min Min Shao is really good. Yeah, definitely A tier. Yeah. I probably, think. probably right here. Mm, I'd put it above Watchog. <laughs> why are all these Pokemon below Watchog? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you've wait, you've way too overhyped Watchog. Can you put Watchog at the end of A tier, please? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh I thought goodness. he's a good. All right. Dragon. Dragon. Single Dragon Evolution. Physical. Knows rough skin. Yeah, I'd say probably, probably, yeah, around there. Yeah. Yeah. Cause dragon, dragon's really good, but. All right. Ghost ground. Ghost ground. And has what's what's the ability? Strong arm. Yeah. So. Yeah. So punching moves. Punching moves do, do more. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. High B. Yeah. I this think, thing. I think he might be worse than uh, worse than Fracture. Oh, okay. the little, little, little boy. Definitely A. Yeah, I think right he there. deserves A. Yeah, 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 I like that. This guy. He'd be so much better if he didn't evolve so much late or yeah. so late. I think so probably right put, here. Put him below Sandile. Okay. Yeah. And then Bisharp. Bisharp's good. Good, 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 good. Bisharp, I'll probably right here. Uh, All right, cool. <laughs> Probably right here then. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I think that, I think that's better. Buffalant. Isn't this Ald? Is this Alder's Ace? Yeah. Yeah, I remember he has like a level seventy-eight one or something. Yeah, it's mainly using uh like reckless moves like wild charge and like take down. Take down, and, yeah. Yeah. I think it has the ability that like it doesn't take damage from those kind of moves, which is pretty good. That way you can do high damage without getting the consequences of it. So yeah. because of that, I feel like it deserves a low A tier. Yeah, I think so. A above Watcha, because yeah. like, you get it super late. Yeah, I agree. Rufflet! Exclusive to, to Pokemon White. If this thing didn't evolve so late. Yeah. That, well, they kind of fixed that in the second one, because you can get this early on Route 4. Yeah, like level 25, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think Rufflet's... Rufflet's okay. They can hit hard when it wants to. I think It'd be better than Frillish. <laughs> yeah, probably. Alright, Braviary. Braviary's... Braviary's decent. Yeah, I'd say that's fine. This guy. Bullipede. Get a diaper. This one. Where do we put the? Uh, yeah. It's kind of poopy. Like, yeah, I guess that's fine. Mandibuzz, Mandibuzz has really good stats. Mm -hmm. It's just, it it also has a chance for a bad ability. I think it's weak armor. Oh, uh, the single or weak armor? I think I think it's weak armor. Huh. It's, it's some some ability like that where it, like drops itself when it like, when it gets hit or something. Right here. Uh, I'd probably put it below Scrafty. Like, over to Where the left. Where the fuck Yeah. Okay. Keymore. Late, very late game. Looks like it has a penis. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's uh, kind of right here. Because you get it so late, and by the time you get there, you already have a fire type. Yeah. You don't really see yourself ever using Keymore. Yeah. Yeah, that's about all there is to him. An ant eater though, kind of cool. Yeah. Fire ant eater. Big advance. Durant. Durant's surprisingly good. Uh, steel bug. Four yeah. times a week against fire. <laughs> I think he's better than a scavalier. The other steel yeah. bug. Yeah. All right, Dino. We're getting I'm, to the the pseudo legendaries. Another chompy boy. Chompy. I love yeah, chompy also boys. very late game. Like, same thing with he more. I think he's better than Axiu. Where the fuck is Axiu at? Right. Yay. Yeah. All right. So def, def. Where the fuck do we? Yeah. Okay. Probably up here. Yeah. Probably above. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. This is a tier. This thing yeah, knows so that, many good moves. Uh, so many diverse moves. That one. That one might be the top of a tier, honestly. Ooh. You think it's better than this guy? Yeah. I think it's better than Electros. Oosh. Nothing can beat Oshawott. <laughs> Alright, Larvesta. 
Life Master would be so much co- again so much cooler if it evolved earlier. <laughs> yeah, and also you can only in the first game you can only get it through an egg, which is on an optional route. Yeah. So if you don't know that it's over there, then like you're not gonna bother. Yeah, I think Larvesta. So and it's also Fire Bug. Yeah, but its stats are actually not bad. Yeah. For so a, for a pre evolved Pokemon. Definitely better than Otto. Yeah. Yep. All right, Volcarona. In the second game, you can get this thing early. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's probably. Probably like right there. Yeah. Yeah. Better actually, th- I think I think Darmanitan's a little bit better. Than that. Yeah. The Sinkano no Quiver Dance. Yeah. All right, we're getting to legendaries now. All right. First one of the sword Pokemon. Cabalion's probably the best out of the three. Yeah. So you think like low A tier? I think like, uh, like worse than Darmanitan. Probably right here. Yeah. Okay. I think these, these three swords don't go, uh, don't go below A. Yeah. All right. Terrakion's, Terrakion's pretty good. Uh, fighting Rock. Yeah, I think it's probably. probably better than. Door. I think it's probably above above Zoroark. Actually, no, probably below Zoroark in my opinion. Yeah. Yay! All right, and then Verizon. I think this one's the worst out of them. Yeah, because it's grass fighting. Yeah. So four times a hand's flying. But I still think it's I still think it's really good. I think it's yeah. above Sigilyph. Where the fuck is Sigilyph? To your left. Take it back now, y'all. That's right. Oh shit! One we'll hop this time. <laughs> All right. Now we're getting to the genies and their forms. Yep. All right. F- pure flying. The only, I think, like the only pure flying type besides like Rookity. Yeah. Yeah, this was the first f- pure flying type. Yeah. I feel like. Uh, prob- probably, probably below. Uh, do you think it's better than Verzian? Yeah. Okay. And then it's bird form. I mean, I'd just place it in, like, the same spot. Yeah. I never got to use any of these guys. Alright. Alright. Electric flying. That's pretty damn good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably there, yeah. yeah. And then I'd put some other form with it. Yeah, right. What is this one supposed to be? Like a lion? I don't know. Then I know that one's definitely... Fu- I know definitely this one's a bird. I forgot what this one was. I know there's like a there's a chart thing that's like like shows you. All right, now this one, ground flying. So isn't that good or something? So I put okay, I put this one above, uh, like yeah, probably right there. Mm-hmm. And then the Therian form, you're gonna put at the very top of A tier. Hell yeah! Sorry, Ashwa, get that, out that of thing, here. That thing is like <laughs> I know people use this in competitive a lot when it yes, came out. Yes, it, it is. Like, it's like the most known competitive use Pokemon. Like, it's yeah. disgusting how strong it is. Alright, Reshiram. We're getting to the, the box art Pokemon. Dragon Fire. And it's special move, uh, Ferno and Blaze, right? It's... Forgot. It's Fusion Blaze. Yeah. Whatever. It's a ball of fire. Fusion Flare. Fusion, yep. Yeah. I think... I think it's underneath... Probably Landorus. better than Embor. Hmm? Underneath Landorus, Therian mm-hmm. form. Fuck the, is Landorus. At the top of A. Yay! Yeah, sorry, Oshawa, you're getting dethroned. Yeah, and then Zekrom. Electric Dragon. Probably also the same, same area. You th- which one do you think is better, though? I like Reshiram more. I think, I, think, I think Reshiram's cooler. Alright, Kiram. Ice Dragon. I think Kyurem's my favorite out of the three. But that's my that's my personal He's favorite. He's so good. Also, I, I love the lore they gave him in the second game. Yeah, I think Ice Dragon is, is so cool. Yeah, they kind of glossed over in the first game. They're like, yeah, he came from the the legendary dragon. Yeah. And you're like, huh? Yeah, because he, he's supposed to be like the, the husk, like the shell. Yeah, yeah they kind of gloss over in the first game, and then like they kind of tell you in the post game, like, that that guy came along, and then in the second game they actually do explain that the dragon split into two, and then Kiram was a product of it as well. Yeah. So I'm glad they actually did that. All right, so white Kiram. Okay, these two, 
These two are probably S tier. Yeah. But which one do you think is better, though? The white one. Definitely nothing B and Mulligan. <laughs> Yeah, th those two, their stats are just so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Like when I was playing, uh, when I was when I was younger, mm -hmm. doing like the white, the white, what is it, the white, white tree, team? white tree. Yeah. Uh, so there's white tree and black city or whatever. Yeah. Doing those white forest. What? Sorry, white forest. My bad. Not white tree. <laughs> uh, but uh, doing those two and like the post game, uh, these were the reasons I was able to do it. <laughs> nice. All right, and then Keldio. Uh, He's the, the fourth member, like the, it's supposed to be the three musketeers, apparently, and then the little fourth member, which is the younger one. Apparently he, that's think, the lore. I think he's better than the others. Yeah, I think, I think he goes probably below Amungus. Hmm. Alright, what do you think about his other form? Uh, probably... Because with this form, he gets a special move, I think. Yeah. Probably below Zagriato. Man, Ashwa has been dethroned. Yeah, uh, uh, legendaries. <laughs> I have, I have such a there's there's a sad there's a sad spot for me when it comes to Keldeo because I bought like the Pokemon, like Pokemon White Two the day it came out mm -hmm. and it had the event Keldeo on it and it wouldn't work for my game for some reason. Why? I don't know. Hmm. So it, I could never get it. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, so it, it always it always made me so sad. Although um, they also did the or I think that. Was it Pokemon White 2? It was, it was one of the two. And then they did the event Genesect as well, and I got yeah. the event Genesect. I think you had to beat the game for you to get the Keldeo. That's what always, I... Because I remember beating Maybe, the game and then getting it as a mystery gift. Well, because it wasn't a mystery gift. You were supposed to go to a certain location and and you'd find it. You sure? Yeah, it was in like this little this little grove area. Like, you would see it had like a X on like the, like the cliff. No, 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 hun. You had to go through mystery gifts, and then that area that you're talking about, you bring Keldeo there, and then you teach it its special move. Oh my gosh. Well, I tried mystery gift, and it, and it didn't work. You had to beat the game in order to get Keldeo. You can't I, just I get a legendary Pokemon. I guess I Pokemon. never tried mystery gift. I wonder if it worked then. Right now? To, to, to this day. Yeah, if you get the little IP thing, the bypass, the, the blocks that Nintendo well, put I, on there, I you think, can get Keldeo. I think Keldeo. I still have the little code thing in in my Pokemon White 2 box. Try it. We'll try it after this. Alright. Metaweta. And other Metaweta. One of them started than the other. I can't remember yeah. which. This one is pure psychic, and this one's fighting psychic. I think the fighting psychic one's better. And it, and it gets activated. No, it's, it's normal psychic. Oh, normal psychic, and then fighting, fighting psychic. psychic. Yeah. yeah. It gets activated by in battle with a song. And I think it keeps the form. Because so. it only switches when you use, use the, the song move. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that. I think yeah, and I like this little story. I like the movie. I like the... Because you bring it to a cafe, and that's how you learn the song that it, like, forgot. Yeah. And the guy's like, holy shit, I'm about to rock out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right, and then last one, Genesect, which is a product of Team Plasma's experimenting. He's the best bug type. Yeah, and also you can change the, the, t the type, right, with whatever power drive you give it. Yeah, and the shiny is so cool. Yeah, it's pure red. Yeah, no, it's shiny locked. No, I never did. The, there's like a red Genesect that's like the leader of all of them. And the, it was like the movie. It had fucking Mega Mewtwo in it for some reason. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I, we gotta watch the Pokemon movies. I feel yeah. like that'd be cool. Alright, that's our... That's us ranking the, the Gen 5 Pokemon. Yeah, starting from S. We got Bikini at the very top. And then all the way down, all the way down, we got a mola. <laughs> yeah. Which is where this bitch deserves to be. And then Mega Odno. Yeah, Mega Odno, because I don't know why they put that. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. I mean, technically it's Gen 5, but that's not when Gen 5... Also, I love how they... Did they make a personal pixel of it? No, no, no. They just took a, like, a PNG of it. I thought they pixelated it <laughs> just for this tier list. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's there. No. Well, I feel like I'm satisfied with this. Yep, I am too. Just download image. <laughs> Yay. Perfect. Now we can relive this memory forever. Yeah. And this this is a tier. I'll have the tier list linked down below. That way maybe you guys would want to make your own tier list of Gen 5. And basically 
tell us how dog shit we are about making this one. Wait, wait, wait. Go to the view community rank and then right click it. Where's the. Right click it. That was left click. Oh, well, it's okay. You might have just oh, lost I, your ranking. Well, I saved it. Oh, I didn't see the download. Oh. No, it goes up here. Okay. It's. Why the fuck would you put this thing D tier? It is pretty shit. I understand this one. Wide watchdog down there. Probably on how much they like all the Pokemon. Yeah. Well, I like how this is the peak. Well, I think this is gonna do it. Well, I guess we'll see you guys back again for uh, Pokemon. Uh, well, I have my Nuzlocke still going if you want to watch that instead. Um, well, why well, take a break with Pokemon Black right now? But I promise you, I will never forget about my my, my Gen Five babies. I love Gen Five. Yep. Halloween, <laughs> Malin. Right. Well, that's gonna do it. I hope you guys like this, and hopefully I'll return soon. Yep. Well, I'll, well, I'll be back all the time. I got other videos I'm posting, <laughs> so. That's true. But for Pokemon Black. Probably, I'll start recording in August, end of August, so I'll probably be back up in September. So, but anyway, my name is Phoenix, this is Cameron, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye-bye!